Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing uh, week 17 in the NFL with Troy West from allplayswin.com. Right now we're going to cover New Orleans and Tampa Bay. And uh, Troy West has a long-term record of success with us in the NFL, coming off an off week. But uh, he's still at 57% in the NFL this week and in college, 57% in the NFL last year. Long-term record of success, big sample size. Troy West from allplayswin.com. Thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, we slipped up in the NFL last week, but we're going to finish up here strong. You know how good we've been in the NFL playoffs. That's just right around the corner. And we knocked out our first bowl game with you guys as Utah destroys Colorado State. So off off to a 1-0 start in the bowls. And looking forward to week 17 is an interesting week because a lot of teams don't have a hell of a lot to play for. But we think we got a couple leans here at least. All right. Uh, Before we uh, hear your take on a New Orleans-Tampa Bay classic, classic week 17 NFL uh, handicapping situation, just give an overview of allplayswin.com. Tell us uh, what that site's all about and how you've done at your site long term. Hey, thanks a lot, Pete. No, I appreciate it. We've been just outstanding all year long. Again, had our first losing week in the NFL last week. It, it, it came a, a tough week overall. But, you know, like I said, Pete, bowl season is our top-notch. Come take a look. We're 1-0 so far. Utah with our big play. Outstanding. Blowing out Colorado State. we got some big plays coming up. And then Week 17, Pete, we really look to thrive here going into Week 17 in the NFL playoffs. Got a great track record. Really encourage people to come take a look at allplacewind.com. Well, here we go. New Orleans, Tampa Bay, right? Last week, uh, Saints, huge, huge, big time, do or die game from the uh, New Orleans Saints, and they completely died, right? No question there. Wasn't even close. Huge collapse, fifth straight, uh, straight up loss at home as a favorite. So something seriously wrong with the Saints. On the road, though, they've been a lot better. Here they are, you know, out of playoff contention and uh, a road favorite at Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay is just, you know, playing out the year. You know, some people are saying that, uh, you know, maybe they're throwing the season to get the number one pick. I'm not so sure about that. But if they are, I don't know, maybe the Saints at uh, minus three and a half then would be a great bet. I'm also thinking maybe the under 47 might be a sneaky good play here. Uh, Tampa Bay is one and seven over under in their last eight games since their bye. New Orleans, of course, uh, you know, can have a terrible defense and an explosive offense. But if they just mail it in uh, and play out the play out the string um, this last week, then uh, maybe, uh, you know, this high total uh, will stay under. What's your take on this game, Troy? Yeah, I'm going to go with the New Orleans Saints here, Pete. And, I, and again, I, I don't think that Tampa Bay is tossing their season. I want one to say something like that. But um, I do think it definitely plays in the heads of this team. And I got to go with Drew Brees in this situation, Pete. I know he's really struggled down the stretch. But as you said, they have been better on the road for whatever reason. There's a few teams like that this year. Dallas Cowboys, we know, 7-0 on the road. The Saints have been a good road team. I think this team's got enough pride. They're going to put on their pads on Sunday. I think they'll get it done against the Tampa Bay team that really could not move the ball at all, Pete, against a very average defense in Green Bay. I just, this Tampa Bay team's just brutal, Pete. They're 2 and 13 for a reason. I think the Saints are still the better team. I know they've struggled. I know they're out of it. I still think they're the better team and they get it done at this small number. Yeah, the question is just, are they going to be playing for pride or not? Because, uh, you know, if they're coming in here just waiting for the season to be over, Tampa Bay on the money line is huge value, right? Yeah, absolutely. I just think, like you said, the Tampa Bay, if any of the two teams are waiting for the season to be over, I would think it is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> this is a team that, that really hasn't had anything to play for for quite some time now. Lovey Smith seems like he's lost all hope and, and what McCown can do at the quarterback position. The defense has, has been basically their only bright spot, and they've been extremely shaky at times. So, you know, number one pick has got to be in their heads at some point, and, and if it is at all, it's going to be this game. So we'll see what happens, but playing it through, I do think the Saints are the better football team. Well, Sean Payton has uh, lit a fire under the Saints on the road uh, previously. Couldn't do it last week at home, but hopefully he'll be in the locker room this week and say, you guys go out there, don't throw this game, you win this last game, even though we're out of the playoffs. (laughs) And if they do that, then uh, you might be right here in New Orleans. Minus three and a half is the current widely available number. Thanks so much, Troy. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.